Hey guys, I'm John. Today I'm gonna show you how you can use the auto tracing feature here on the new version of Affinity Designer. Let's get started. First of all, if you don't have Affinity, you can download right here on affinity.studio. Then you download and install, and let's dig into what really matters. How to use auto tracing, my friend? Hit the like and let's get started. First of all, you need to have the image, all right? Select the image you can find here this image highlighted, go here on top in vector, and then you're gonna have the image trace. Click here, and Affinity will give you this window. This window have two options. The first one, it is the edge threshold. This one, it is the tolerance of the details. So if you make this less, it's going to show up more details. But be careful, because this is a new uh, resource, and it's not very optimized for high details design. But for simple design, it works really, really good. I'm gonna use here 50%. And here below, there is the curve tolerance. This is the curve tolerance that makes, I'd say, the shapes a bit more soft. You can test by yourself in your design. And here below, you can see the preview. If we go and drag here, this you can see the after and the before version in this option you can compare side by side we have the after in the left side and the before uh, in the right side okay i'm gonna stick with this one i feel that it's easy to see and then i'll hit apply and affinity will do what convert that into shape also isn't it I love that one. So this is uh, one of the things that we have been waiting for a long time. If you select and press A, which is the node tool, the shape, it is really clean. And then you can change the color as you want on the colors panel. Next, let's try a new image. This image, if we zoom in with Z, you can see that it is very bad quality image. So we can understand that this can struggle a bit. But this is the main idea of this video, is to try and test the vector image trace. Click here, vector image trace, and then you're gonna see the result. Let's apply here and reduce this to less. And then you see that Affinity will struggle a little bit to add the details. But again, this can take the time for them to improve. But let's do here with the 50%. If you increase a lot, you can see that most details will be removed, like the shadows and even some highlights. And we can see that this image was not good, so we can't expect to have a very awesome image. But let me show you a very nice thing that you can try to do in this image. I will cancel that. There is a resource on the Canva AI uh, that you can improve the resolution. If you click here, super resolution, resolution tool, hit here, what Affinity will do, it is going to increase that quality. Can you see? Before and after, it increased a lot the quality. Now, you can hit apply, then the quality has increased. It kind of upscaling the image. Go here in vector and let's apply the image trace. There we go. What we just got is a much better result. We're gonna hit apply, and then we have what? You know what? The vector image tracing, really good in high quality. After you apply that, you can change the color. Select the shape, and then go here and change as you want. Nice, isn't it? Good, next, let's move on to this last example. What you're gonna do it is to upscale this image quality. Go here on the Canva AI, then you can go to super resolution tool, and then you're gonna upscale, increasing the quality. Here we go. The quality has been increased. If we compare in this slider, you can see the quality has increased a lot. Let's apply now here click in the apply then keep it selected go in vector image trace and then we're gonna have 
a very nice result. Again, if you decrease this uh, slider, you're gonna have more details, but some details, small details will stay in there. Probably you need to polish and remove those. And here, the second option, you need to test by yourself. You need to check uh, if it's a good, but this basically will soften more the curves. Let's compare now in this option. I like this one. I will hit apply. Let me do something like this just to keep the shadows. Hit apply. There we go. We got the image in vector you can find right here on this panel. It's it's good, all right? It's not too perfect, but it's much better than do this manually. If we go here, we can delete or even merge with the Shape Builder tool. And then a very nice uh, new resource that we have. I'm going to delete this background. And here on Affinity, I'm going to keep this selected, this group selected, and remove the background stuffs. Now, we have a PNG. Let's try this and test. I'm going to add an image behind. Full PNG, as you can see, we can export that. How? Select the group, give a name, logo, click here, export PNG. Or if you want to export as SVG, you can go here. What about others, others formats? Here is a hidden feature, the button, click here in the plus, you're going to see others options, PSD, PDF, even Canva design. Can toggle and then you're gonna show us up here. I'm gonna stick with the PNG bigger resolution, it was too small. Let's apply 2K, hit export selection only, showing finder again. Let's apply here, and that's it a logo vectorized and exported again to be used in very nice way. Okay, that's it. Very completed tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed. Hit the like and I plan to build much more tutorials. So stay turned on and join my Patreon. I plan to release new courses on there and on Udemy. So I'm gonna wait to see you on there. Bye-bye. Take care.